Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the house of Tawa. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, I needed to take some time away from YouTube and um, I still have been working but just not on YouTube and the very reason why is that I just felt like I was showing up not entirely me. So I had to take some time to reprogram my mind and work on my um, on myself. First off, I want to say thank you for everyone who has come on this channel um, and was searching for me or waiting for updates. I have gotten comments from you guys saying that, oh my gosh, don't give up. Where are you? And, you know, it kind of hurts me the fact that I, I didn't abandon. It's just that I just needed to step away. This is the longest I've ever been off YouTube. And I wanted to come back uh, with a different perspective in order for me to keep moving forward. So this time that I took away from the channel was for me to like work on how I perceive YouTube. You know, you guys has been along with me in this whole journey and it has been a journey, okay? Um, we went through ups and downs. I have tried a lot of stuff and I felt like I wasn't staying true to myself. I was basically putting YouTube on a pedestal and appeasing YouTube based off of the trends and what was happening. So as I look back at my work, I'm just like, you know, I've basically done it all from the beginning, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but I felt like my true essence and core of what I wanted um, YouTube to be, um, it just ended up, you know, going from here to there to there to there and it's not remained focused and it kind of like brought different viewers for different things and which is great because at the end of the day it's all about views but this time around I just feel like now I want to keep my channel very focused so moving forward I'm going to be doing vlogs style videos where I'm going to be sharing my journey for um, building my business. Um, I'm no longer going to be stretching myself thin. I'm trying to do like all kinds of tutorials, all kinds of different trends. Uh, moving forward in 2024, I want to focus on growing my business and really getting laser focused on doing what I truly love and staying true to what this channel was supposed to be for when I first started it. You know, when I started this channel, I wanted to document my journey. And yes, I went through everything to get to this point now. But now I really want to focus on just the business aspect of my journey, you know. So I hope you guys continue to follow the journey. Um, if you have any tutorial requests, if it aligns with the project I am working on, I will share details on how to create. But other than that. I'm going to stay focused on the designs that I want to do that makes me feel good and aligns with my brand. Hello guys, it's a new day and today is better than yesterday, let me tell you. Because you know, I think I feel like the last segment, it was a little bit down a little bit, but now I'm in a cheery mood. You know, in the past couple of days, it has been moody here in uh, New York City because we had a couple of storms ha passing by through here. But now the sun is out and I love when I got good natural lighting. So let's get into what we're going to be doing right now. Um, let me prop you guys on my tripod. All right, here we go. Okay, so 
Right now, I'm going to be making me a pair of sequin shorts. These are my favorite shorts. I designed a, um, a style like this in another colorway. And they're my like cutest um, ruffle shorts. And I think you can wear this year round. So I love the color that I did previously, which I'm going to pop a picture right here or maybe a video clip right over here. Look how cute that is. I mean, she working it. Yes. So I decided to do it in a black version because, you know, black is classic. Black is, you know, um, safe. But since it's sequence, it's a little bit of shine. I'm going to go ahead and put my shorts together um, so you guys can see the process of that. Uh, so I basically cut out all my ruffles and now I'm just going to put everything together so I can get this done so I can start listing it on my shop. I might do a top to go with it too because I feel like it needs to have like something to pair with it. So I'm just deciding what kind of style I want to create. But for right now, let's get into these shorts. So for the past year, I was on Instagram uh, basically hiding away, uh, trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do, and I decided to stay focused on sequin, and mostly sequin pants. I have included some dress, a dress option, but not too much, and so um, I didn't want to do the bridal because the bridal was very labor intensive and very costly, so I wanted to just break down my cost right now and focus just on the evening wear so i just basically focus on the sequin and creating sequin pants styles i enjoyed creating each and every one of the designs i'm gonna create a video for you guys to see all the pieces that i made um, throughout the year as a recap maybe in the next vlog This is cute already. I mean, they looking like a hot short, but this is what's in right now. Okay, guys, the panty shorts. Have y'all seen them? They got them all over the runways. Mew Mew is very, is a high corporate of these panty um, shorts. All right, guys, so it's looking good so far. It's so hard to read black because it's so, but it's looking so good right now. Look at this, uh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out the lining and then I'll put in the waistband and then we're gonna see how this looks. 
on, okay? All right, guys, so here is the shorts, fully complete. Um, I fully lined it. Let me turn it inside out so you guys can see. So it's fully lined. Love it. It's elastic waist, so you just basically pull it on. I put my label in there. This is so gorgeous. All right. And then um, let me flip it outside. And so the ruffles is a um, lettuce edge kind of ruffle because I didn't want to have a flouncy ruffle uh, detail at the hem and I just love it. So we are going to go ahead and try this on to see how it looks. So give me a moment. All right, so I got this gray top on. Um, nothing too fancy because I want you guys to see the contrast. And I'm going to pair it with my classic Louboutins. And let me tell you, these little tins, oh my God, they're so painful. First of all, let me tell you, quick story time, okay? Off topic, but quick story time. I purchased these. These are the Louboutin Pigals. I purchased them when I was 26 years old. That was about like 11 years ago, okay? 11 years ago. And um, I wanted these for my birthday. And so I purchased these. At the time, the price was like $600. And I wanted these because it's just a classic pump. It looks good when you put it on. I mean, it just makes your legs look fire. These shoes at the time were super popular that they would sell out very quickly. So what happened was when I finally was able to get my hands on a pair, I needed a size nine. So I went down to the store on Madison and one of the essays kind of tried to convince me to purchase an 8.38.5. So now I'm just like, I need a size nine because I tried a different pair in a different color. I think it was a denim shoe and the denim version of this and it was fitting perfect. But she was like, oh, well, you know, it's going to take forever to get the next pair and I needed it for my birthday. So I'm like, okay, let me just try the eight and a half and see how it feels. And so I went ahead and purchased the eight and a half thinking this is what she was telling me. Oh, it's going to stretch. It's patent leather. It's going to stretch eventually. So don't worry about it. So if you even got the nine, it would have been end up being big around your foot. So basically she showed me the eight and a half, which I know I needed a, a, a nine. I wore these shoes. I kid you not. Within an hour, I spent maybe an hour in these shoes and they hurt. Now, 26, I was all about the beauty is pain. But now, you are not going to get me to wear a pa painful pair of shoes today and have my toes looking like this. Okay? No. We're, we're, no. At the end of the night, my toes looking like this. See, when I was 26, my toes could look like this, but all I had to do was peel them back. But now, at my age, you think I'm going to walk around with my toes looking like this? This ain't going to unpeel. My toes is going to stay like this. For the purpose of this video, I know it's going to look good with my shorts. But let me tell you, I will never let an essay talk me into getting a shoe that's not my size. If it ain't my shoes, goodbye, girl. Goodbye, guy. I'm not doing it, okay? No. But I will get, um, but what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another pair of these. Um, in my actual size, but with the scallop. And I don't know if I like the So Kate heel because, you know, I don't like this. It's super thin. I think these are better. The Pigals, but I don't know if they still do the Pigals, if they're going to have the scallop back. But I'm going to have to go and see because I really love these shoes. They're very classic. And I'm just going to have to get the other pair in my size when I'm ready to make the investment. But, um, yeah, let's go and try these on and see what's up. Had to put on some oil in my toes so that way it could just slide in. Okay, okay. All right. So here are the shorts. And I love them. 
okay? Let me get closer for you guys. Look how cute. Now, I didn't want them to be um, exposed, overly exposed, because I like to cover my behind. I think these are very appropriate for whenever you're going out. You don't have to worry about your cheeks hanging out. So I'm not about that. I'm not about that life. So I thought it's very cute. It covers and it's just focused on the legs. Okay. Yes. I mean, look how cute. I love them. Okay. Let me step back so you guys can really see. Isn't she cute? So I'm going to go ahead and create a top to match because I mean, this is so cute. Very cute. All right, so let's do a full body so you can really see it. So you guys can rotate your phones. All right, so here is the full body. And yes, I love it. I mean, look how cute that is. It looks like a skirt from afar, but the fact that it's shorts, come on now. Come on, yes. Okay, girl, all right. So, I'm gonna make a top to go with this. I think it's gonna be in the next vlog. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys, okay, in my next video, all right? Bye, guys.